Okay, so we have a slight problem with our pagination, but we're almost done. So if there is no page number in the URL, it doesn't appear here. It doesn't work. That's because when we are creating a link to a new page, we are simply telling it to replace page is equal to with another value. So if it doesn't find that page is equal to, it's not going to replace anything. So it's just going to give us back exactly the URL that's in the link, which just takes us back to the first page. So we can solve this problem. If you go to the documentation for Laravel, here where it says requests. So in HTTP requests, you can see that there's this part retrieving the request URL, which is what we've been using, URL or request full URL, which we have used over here. So this gives us the full URL. But there's one more feature in Laravel, which is just down here, which says full URL with query. So what this does is you can add an extra value to the query if you want, that way it's retrieved with it. Now we could do this manually, create our own function to do this, but since Laravel was kind enough to give us this, no problem, we're just going to use this. So I'm going to copy this full URL with query up to there. So I'll come here and replace this part with that so full URL so what we are saying here is that give us the full URL but add a an extra value now the way this thing works is if the value already exists that's okay it's just going to replace it so let's the value we're looking for is page and we must give it a value now since we already know the page number we are on I can just copy that page and put it here so it will always return page with the page number that we want. And that's it to solve the problem, actually. So let me come back here and let's refresh the page. So you see there's no page in there, but if I click on two, we have gone to page two. Okay, that is good, first page. So some nice pagination here, which is great. Now you can modify this pagination to your own liking. If you want to add last page here, the way we have first page, last page, you have to know how many posts are in the database. You query all posts, then you give that number and then divide by the limit, which is how many per page. That will give you how many pages you have, and then you can get the last number and put a button here. But I didn't want us to go that route because it just makes things a little complicated, more complicated than it already is. So I've just left it here. Now on the view, at the view here, we don't need to paste this information here because we could change how we do things here. And then we would have to go every single page to change that. So every time you're repeating code, it's not a good idea. What you have to do is copy it and put it in a separate file because we're going to need this code in every view that has pagination. So I'm just going to cut this right here. And instead I will put the include code, which is like this, include, and I will call this one pagination, like so. Save that. And all I need to do is go down here and create inside the views, right click, new file, paste that data. We can now move it to the edge, save this data. And I'm just going to save it as, uh, let's add blade there, just in case we used it, pagination.blade.php. So if I come back here, I shouldn't notice a difference whatsoever. And there we go. So no difference whatsoever. Things are still working, but this is now a separate file. That way we can change once and it updates throughout the, uh, the system. And then let's come back here. We could put all this inside a separate function, but um, it wouldn't be very useful 
maybe to clean up the code a little bit but we still need to know the limit of a page and we still need to know we still need the request to know the hmm maybe we could put this inside a function then we can have limit and give it a request and then we can have eh, no i think that's too much work let's just leave it there it's okay all right then so let's try and um let's try and push this to other parts so let me change this to 10 the limit so that we have 10 items per page so refresh let's go to page one that's where everything will be okay so there we go first page nice and dandy let's go to categories and see how we can implement the same system so i just need to copy everything up to there copy and go to categories so let's go in the admin mm -hmm. categories.blade.php not in the view but in the admin section actually so categories default right here so this should happen before the query so before the query we are doing that that way we have access to the limit here so the limit and the offset always come at the end so limit limit and then offset offset that's it that's all we need to do there and we'll have uh, what we need so let's let's put limit is equal to one there just so we have one item per page there we go now we don't have any way to go to the next page and fear not we're just going to go to copy this include over here and even close that there and then now we can go to our categories.blade right after the table let's paste the pagination and refresh oh, oh. I cannot see it categories.blade.php okay so the reason I can't see it is if I go back to the admin there's this links here which we have to provide in the data so let's just do links here and links over here like this okay so back here refresh and you have our links so two there we go three nothing first page there we go so everything is working so categories let's put 10 as the limit so that everything for now will be on page one so you get the drill users will do exactly the same thing so i'm just going to copy all of this and let's go to users down to the default right before the query paste that and inside the query we're going to do the same thing uh, limit actually i should say limit and then the variable limit and then offset and then the variable offset okay and not forgetting the links over here so duplicate that links and links over here the variable and then if we go to the blade view we can copy this now the pagination and go to user um, where is this users.blade.php right after the table paste come back refresh and we have our pagination so everything is now paginated which is good okay pagination works except the main page so we can do exactly the same thing no difference whatsoever so if i go to the main page here i'm going to go to index.blade.php this is where our content is there's a clear fix here so i'll put the pagination right after the clear fix right there okay 
so i won't see anything here yet because um, there's no links so i just need to go to the admin here copy everything up to before the query here and i can use my uh, home controller this is the index the queries are in here right we will need this before any queries even the search queries as well so let me just move this backward so we have a limit there so maybe this limit can be a bit higher i don't know for now let's try one like this so we can test things and let's do the same thing we did here for both these queries so this query ends where does it end it ends right there so i'll put that here in that case uh, here that way i can say limit limit the variable and then offset offset the variable like so okay pretty good more too many spaces here there we go so once i do that that's so good then now i can supply the links at the end so query uh this one selects all the categories right so we don't need the page numbers for this we're just displaying the categories in the sidebar so here we just have to add links to this and then the variable links okay that should solve the problem so refresh we should get one item here and i smell an error coming in that's because my page is not found so easy peasy we just have to add the class here and just say my page like a this and we should be good if i now refresh okay so one item there very good but uh, this is where the pages are not very convenient let's see if they work they do work okay first page first page but they are not convenient where they are let's see what we can do about that uh, let me go to the index the play the php so there is a clear fix here so i have no idea why this clear fix isn't working but uh no problem let's go to the pagination include there is a div right here so what i will do is just add a style and say clear both let's see how that works refresh okay so it has worked now we have our pages here and you can style them as you please okay so two we are on page two i don't know why it's taking forever to load uh laravel does this sometimes okay so page two first page okay all right pretty cool so this uh wraps things up actually unless you want me to help with this we can just add an image here and some text but otherwise everything else works the categories oh wait a minute what about if i click on food what happens drinks okay so these categories don't work here hmm. let's make them work in the next video and we can also add some real content here just so we can see how it will look like if it's done then here we can add something so when you click on categories it brings the correct items in those categories so i'll see you in the next video